fly, flew in from LA, but he's from Toronto. I don't know more about your history. I don't know what high school you went to. Give a big round of applause right now for Steve Johnston, everybody. <laughs> The funny thing is, is Zanto and I know each other since we were kids. So what? So, my girlfriend broke up with me recently. Woo. You know, as he mentioned, I'm from LA and I'm so glad to be back home with apathetic Canadians. <laughs> Amazing. Woo. Awesome. So there, was like, there was a couple of uhs and it was just like, Nothing. Don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Neither did she. Um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, recently, um, I, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. So I, I was, uh, I was coming home from work, you know, oh, yeah, and we were in love. At least I, I was in love, and she had a black, black heart of the devil. And, um, so I was coming home from work, and she was Canadian, too. We met in L.A. on a Canadian dating app. I'm joking. But, um... But we met there, and, and so like we would like she would come back and forth, etc., a lot, and then uh, and then so then I thought like she was going home the next day, and I thought, oh okay, so I was at work because I have a you know side hustle like a lot of people do. So I was coming home from the restaurant I work at, surprise, and uh, I got home. I thought we were gonna fuck, you know, like have some fun, and then the next day she go, and I walk in the door, and she's just I see the look, that fucking look, and I was just like, and then she like Jedi mind tricked me, right? So she didn't even have like the ovaries to fucking do it. She was just like looking at me. I was like, we need to talk, don't we? And she's like, yep. I'm like, we're breaking up, aren't we? And she's like, yep. So then I said, fuck it. And I grabbed like a beer and a cigarette and spent the next half an hour telling her what was wrong with her. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, and then she left, surprise. Uh, and then, and then uh, the, you know, the next day I was talking to my friend Justin and he was saying like, he was like, oh, that sucks, man. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, did you live together? And I was like, well, sort of. I'm like, you know, when we first met, she had her own place. And then she started staying with me. And then she started airbnb her place. Uh, and then she got rid of her place. Uh, and, then, and then he's like, well, did she pay rent? And I was like, not really. And he goes, dude, you got yourself a squatter. And I said, or a hooker. I mean, right? Uh, whatever, right? <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, I've been, I, I've been back on the apps, on the apps. I took, I took about a year. I need a little like moratorium for myself, right? And, um, and but then I got back on the apps. And I gotta tell you, uh, the last time was like ten years ago. I was on the apps. They haven't fucking changed. They're exactly the same. You know, like uh, what is one of like I just love the the lines and stuff. It's. Uh, one of the big ones is, I love to travel. Who the fuck doesn't love to travel? I think it means that when we get together, it means that I'm gonna pay for you to travel. It's a warning, you know? So there's that, and then there's the, uh, I work hard and I play hard. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I wanna write, I hate traveling, I'm lazy, and I hate fun. You know? Like, fuck off with all that shit. Um, and then, oh yeah, and then of course there's the other stuff too where, uh, you know, women talk about like how men, you know, there's pictures of them in the bathroom with their shirt off and they're like, we don't want to see that. And then guys like holding fish, which I find, uh, not that fishing is odd, but yeah, they're like holding up, look at the size of fish, I can feed you. Um, you know, and then like guns, especially in the States, right? There's so many like where guys like will, will have profiles with their guns. Not so much here because we have our dicks. We're Canadian. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, so like I see that, but then I look at the women's profiles and I see the wings. Anyone know what I'm talking about? These wings that are spray painted on walls. Sometimes they're like fairy wings. Sometimes they're like butterfly wings or whatever. And like, if you look at the history of it or the, what is that? The provenance of the artwork. Uh, apparently, uh, it started in like Brooklyn and it was called like lift me up wings, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, but the thing that I find interesting about that is that like, you know, people like the, the women are saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an individual and I'm a, I'm a fairy princess and, and you know, uh, treat me, you know, this way, whatever. And it's like, but you're not into like all your friends talk to your friends, like look at their profiles, but, like you got wings too. Like, 
come on, like you all this, it's like Stepford Wives. It's like, no. And then if you take, you've got women who are like wanting to be like flying animals and then men with guns, who's the biggest threat to women? Men, men with guns. It's a dangerous combination. You know, it's, uh, should, yeah, I, I, would, I would rethink that. Um, yeah, oh, what, uh, what else about, uh, I was trying to think if there's anything else about the dating thing. No, oh, I mean, there was one thing. I, I've gone on a few dates, and uh, this is, uh, I, I was reminded of this on, on the way here on the, on the streetcar. Uh, I went on this one date with this woman, and uh, she had, like, she had a picture of herself at the comedy store, and so when we were texting back and forth, she was like, yeah, I, I used to do comedy too, you know, I saw for a bit. So then we, we meet up at this cafe and we're talking and, and I was like, so why did you uh, stop doing comedy? And she goes like, and she starts shaking and like tearing up and I was like, oh my God, we've only been here for like three minutes. But I was like, I'm very empathic. So I reached over and I was like, is it okay if I hold your hand? She's like, yes. And like the tears started coming down. I was like, so I'm so sorry. What was the trauma? Like what happened? And she's like, they were mean and i was like i was like who the 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 other comics the crowd she's like all of them they were mean <laughs> um i'm a i'm a masochist so i i stayed there and had coffee with her for another fucking hour <laughs> including having a conversation about how she told me like mass didn't work at all and i'm like so i tried to explain to her like even this it, it, it's, it's a certain amount of protection. It's a shitty protection, but it's a certain amount of protection and different. And she's like, but you know, like the N95s were the only ones that technically would work. And it's like, okay, look, I'm going to give this to your example, okay? If I throw a penny at a chain link fence, yes, that chain link fence is probably not going to stop that penny, but there's still a possibility. You know, and have you ever seen those ads for like Sudafed or whatever? They show like that sort of profile with the spray, like... Hand in front of face, like, so then exponentially mass, the better they are, it's just, anyways, I'm going on a tangent because that shit pisses me off. It's called science. Come on. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I've been living in, uh, in LA for a few years now and I, I feel like I, I finally look like somebody who maybe lives in LA and does porn. <laughs> Any type of porn. Any type of porn, and not like the good—I don't even people know—but like the not the good classy valley porn, where like vivid and all that. If you know porn, everybody here knows porn. Come on, masturbator, 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 masturbator. <laughs> but you know, uh, you know, but like the the downtown like back alley porn is where, you know where I would you know maybe have a chance. Uh, uh, but let's be honest too. Like I I wouldn't get cast, so then I'd have to like be in the background of like you know when they set up the scenarios with the other guy who didn't get cast. And we have to go in the background and do the whole like cantaloupe watermelon thing. Uh, I thought maybe there's some film people here. So in film, uh, even in porn, you need to like have good sound. So in the background, you have to pretend that you're talking. So I'd be in the back of the other dude saying, you just mouth the words cantaloupe watermelon. We got very, it's, I'm just informing you about film. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> You know, and then let's be honest, I wouldn't even get cast at all, even as an extra, so I'd be like the fluffer. And I wouldn't even get the shaft, I'd get the balls, I'd be like doing this, you know. Although I don't know, that would, I guess that would work, I don't know. I don't know, it, it could feel good. Or I did have a girl one time just going nuts like that, and also she was trying to stick her finger in my ass, and she was just like... I'm like, no, no, it's a timing thing, it's right before the... Ooh, um. <laughs> um, it's not like jab at it with your fucking uncut nail <laughs> give me fucking hemorrhoids uh, yeah well oh yeah and, then, and we, you know what's interesting that's uh, you know going on the news right now you know Trump got indicted again uh, I mean I guess he, he really is Teflon Don it's like he's gonna die with like the most charges and most impeachments and most this and most that and most that and Never see a day in jail. Um, but what's interesting about that is that is that like I mean they're right now they're getting him on like the documents thing. But the the coup, the attempted coup, and I I don't know why both the left and the right, even the right people who like agree that it was a coup, attempted coup. Uh, 
Because see, like a coup is is an attempted coup or coup. It, usually, what they do is they one pick a symbol of the country to attack, and two call around and try and get other leaders and heads of state and whatever to uh, support them, and three try and get the army on their side. That's everything that he did, right? So I don't understand why they're being this indictment thing, or indictment thing, insurrection thing. Um, anyway, but what's interesting to me is, uh, so like, you know, there are a lot of those uh, people who are in the, in the coup uh, are all, you know, finally getting charged. Yeah, I mean, getting, uh, you know, found guilty and all that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, like the guy who went to Nancy Pelosi's office, he just got four or six years or some shit, I don't care. Um, <laughs> But what I find interesting is, again, at this point when they're talking all those people getting charged for, with shit and getting finally getting found guilty, they're not talking about the shitters anymore. And they only talk about this a little bit, and I bet you a lot of you missed it, okay? So when they did this coup, right, when they busted into the, and they're in the rotunda and the, you know, capital, there were shitters. There were people who went in and they bust, I swear to God, right in the middle of the rotunda, there was a couple of people ran down the halls and shit and smeared it on the wall. It was very strange because here's the thing. If they thought that they were taking over, that this was now their place and like, this is ours, where are the people? Da, 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 da. And you got all the guys, that, like the pseudo military and guys who really were ex-military and cops and da, 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 da. They're like busted in, you know, you know, Jim and, and John and, 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 Sarah, they're all in there like, yeah, we took it over, we've done this, whatever. And there's fucking Bill <laughs> taking a shit. Taking a shit. And it's like, Bill, we just, this is our house now. We just took it over and you're taking a deuce. Like, what the fuck? And other people smearing on the wall. Like, it is, that is just, like, what? And then, like, uh, some of the arguments on the right, too, it was, it was just like any other tour. Can you imagine you're like riding one of those double deckers buses and there's like fucking Bill just like over the side, you know? So you say, so this guy, I mean, could you imagine too, like something famous, like the Battle of Iwo, Iwo Jima, you know, the big, you know, I'm not getting the stance right, you know, like that. And then, then uh, you have all the soldiers doing that. And then there's a thing of Bill at the end, just fucking taking a shit, you know, like I, I it, it blows my mind. like. You know, and, and they don't talk about it. I want to hear what happened to the shitters. What happened to the shitters? Uh, yeah, Anto? Yeah, yeah. One more? Yeah. One more? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, this is something actually I was going to talk about apps. Well, fuck that shit. Because um, the apps haven't changed in 10 years. But what the thing that I noticed is really interesting uh, in the years that I've lived in the States is I realized that when we say sorry, you know, we're known for a lot of things and being nice and stuff, but even in here, when we say sorry, it means fuck you. Fuck you for ruining my perfect Canadian day as I walk down the street and go see the doctor just for the hell of it. Fuck you for not getting out of my way as I fucking, you know, go and get, like, watch hockey and all that sort of shit, whatever. This usually goes differently in the States because I do the whole, like, line up running a fucking polar bear and whatever. Uh, and we, don't run, we know that's not true, right? Uh... <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, well, uh, well, okay, so, uh, my father's a preacher, he's an Anglican minister, um, but, uh, I'm not religious. Uh, I mean, religion, right? I mean, you know, the, the pedophilia, you know, the bigotry, the homophobia, which is a weird one, uh, considering, um... <laughs> But, you know, all those are good reasons not to believe in religion. Um, for me, it's like, who wants to read a book more than once? I think that's a great punchline. I fucking love it. Uh, being a preacher's kid, like, I not only had to go to church, like, growing up every Sunday, every this, every that, whatever. But then I got sent off to, like, boarding school, which is like an Anglican boarding school. So it was every fucking morning. Oh, God. It was mostly announcements, but still. Um... Yeah, and then, uh, so then it's interesting, too, because, like, growing up, too, like, you you talk to people, and, and you're like, oh, what do your parents do? And I'm like, well, my dad's a minister. And they're like, they'll say, people will say to me, and, and surprisingly, some people who are very religious, or at least believe they are, they're like, uh, so what are you, like, Catholic? Catholic priests can't get married. So either I'm a bastard child, or I'm like, the next Immaculate Conception and he shot me out of his dick. Like, 
And it's amazing though, and I'm so glad you guys are laughing because sometimes people get really sensitive about talking about religion. But then when I ask them, I'm like, well, you know, how often do you go to mosque or synagogue or church or whatever? And they're like, oh, I, I don't really. I'm like, are you Christian? Have you had your bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah or anything like that? No. Why the fuck are you holding this fucking religion thing so piously in the sky? And you're trying to like give me shit for making fun of it. You don't even recognize it. You know, it, again, just me ranting right now. Uh, yeah, um, but yeah, I am the son of a preacher man. Um, and then my mom's a psychiatrist, so that's a fucking interesting combination. Uh, I figure I'm one childhood repressed memory away from ree, 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 it's like stabby, stabby, you know, like 30 heads under my front porch. Everyone's going home in Paris tonight, right? Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, uh, okay, um, I don't know, um, I'm not gonna drag this out too, too much farther, uh, <laughs> did I hear an, oh God, don't you bring religion into my house? <laughs> Uh, no, I really, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I think I'm not even gonna leave you guys with a joke. That's just it. I'm gonna go back here. And, I don't have any jokes left right now. I, at least not that I can think of. I told you about. Show us your dad. Well. Okay, I'll, I'll do, I'll do a rendition of my dick. This is my dick. All right, sweet. And here are my balls. They're together. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, have a great night. It's always fucking fun doing the Comedy Alley. Adrian, get your ass up here. Have a great night, guys.